Okay, this is lesson 2.2, part 2, rounding decimal numbers. Our learning goal is going to be to read, write, and compare decimals to the thousands. Okay, rounding decimal poem. Use this strategy to round correctly. Find your number, look next door. Four or less, just ignore. Five or more, add one more. The rest become zeros, nothing more, except after decimals. For vocabulary today, I want you to know that the word rounding means the process of finding the multiple of one-tenth or one-thousandth, etc., closest to a given number. A decimal is the symbol, a period, that divides whole numbers from numbers and represents less than one, a fraction of a number. Hint. After rounding to a decimal place value position, the underlined digit will be the final digit written in the number. You won't need the zeros for the rest of the numbers. Let's practice some decimal place value. It says write down the number in the tenths place. So we have 421 and 35 hundredths. The number in the tenths place well, let's just see. We have a four in the hundreds place, hundreds place, a two in the tens place, a one in the ones place, and three, this first place after the decimal, this three is in the tenths place. The five is in the hundredths place, smaller than a one with a th. So this three is in the tenths place. So we'll write down three because that is the number in the tenths place. All right, now we want to write down the number in the thousandths place. Here we have the number 162 and 932 thousandths. So let's look at our place value. Here we have, let's find my pen here. Okay, anyway, we have a 1 in the hundreds place, a 6 in the tens place, a 2 in the ones place, a 9 in the tenths place, a 3 in the hundreds place, and a 2 in the thousandths place. So the number we should write down is 2, because that is the number in the thousandths place. Now I want to write down the number in the hundredths place. This number is 5,081 and 188 thousandths. So we have a 5 in the thousand, thousands place, a 0 in the hundreds place, an 8 in the tens place, a 1 in the ones place, and then we jump to the other side of the decimal, and we have a 1 in the tenths place, an 8 in the hundredths place, and an 8 in the thousandths place. So when we're writing the number in the hundredths place, we're going to want to write the number 8. Now let's talk about ra the rounding decimal poem again. We're going to use this strategy to round correctly. We want to repeat this poem because as many repetitions as we get, the more we're likely to memorize it. So you find your number, look next door, four or less, just ignore. Five or more, add one more. The rest becomes zeros, nothing more, except after decimals. So what that really means is you want to find the number you're rounding to, then you'll look to the place value behind it in the lesser place value spot. If it's four or less, you're just going to keep that number the same and put zeros behind it. If it's five or more, you're going to jump that number up one digit and put zeros behind it. And then we want to look at the decimals. So let's do some rounding decimal practice. Here we have round to the tenths place. We have 361 and 825 thousandths. I want you to see if you can round this number to the tenths place. First, find the number in the tenths place. Look at the number next to it behind it. 
If the number behind the decimal we're rounding to is 4 or below, we're going to keep the decimal that we're rounding to the same, and everything behind it is going to be zeros. If the number behind the decimal that we're looking for is 5 or above, we're going to round the number that we're looking at up one space, and the rest are going to be zeros behind it. I want you to pause this right now and see if you can round this number to the tenths place, and then check back with me when you're done. Okay, so we have 361 and 825 thousandths. We want to round this number to the tenths place. So the digit that we're looking at is the eight. We're looking at this digit. This is the number we want to round to. All right. The number behind the eight is a two. That two is four or below. So we're just going to keep eight the same. And we're going to put zeros behind it. So the number we're going to, this number rounded to the tenths place is 361 and 8 tenths. We don't have to put zeros behind it. We could put zeros behind it and it won't change the value of the number. But because the value is going to be zeros anyway, it doesn't add any value to our number. So add the zeros, don't add the zeros. That's what the except for after decimals means in our poem. So remember, find your number, look next door, four or less, just ignore, five or more, add one more, the rest becomes zeros, nothing more, except after decimals when you don't have to add the zeros because they add no meaning to the rest of the number. So round to the tenths place, we just did this one. Let's see if you can do it again. 361 and 825 thousandths, round to the tenths place. Pause this, get your answer. Did you put 361 and 8 tenths? I hope you did. That 2 adds no value to, or that 2 is below 4, so we're not going to round the 8 up. Next, we want to round to the hundreds place. This number is 413 and 375 thousandths. Find the number in the hundredths place, look at the number behind it. If it's four or below, keep the number the same. If it's five or above, give that number a shove up. Pause this, see if you can answer this question. And when you have an answer to check, turn this back on. So we have 413 and 375 thousandths. The number in the hundredths place is the seven. So we're looking at this seven. And we see that we have a 5 behind the 7. Now, if we think back to our poem, we looked at the digit that we are going to round. The number behind it is 5. So since this is 5, we have to give the 7 a shove. The 7 is going to become 8. So our new number rounded is 413 and 38 hundredths. And then we could put a zero after that eight, but we don't have to because it adds no value at the end of the decimal. Let's look at our next problem. Oh, let's look at our poem again. Find your number, look next door, four or less, just ignore, five or more, add one more. The rest becomes zeros, nothing more, except after decimals, where we don't have to add the zeros. All right, now we want to round to the tenths place, 361 and 825 thousandths. Do you remember how to do that? I hope you wrote 361 and 8 tenths. Let's round to the thousandths place. Here we have 255 and 2,485 ten thousandths. That's a little bit harder. Go ahead and pause this, round to the thousandths place, and when you have your answer, turn this back on to check your work. Okay, our number in the thousandths place is the 8. So we're going to look behind the 8 at the 5. Since it's 5 or higher, that 8 is going to become a 9. So we have 255 and 249 thousandths as our rounded answer. Let's look at the next problem. We want to round to the hundredths place, 413 and 375 thousandths. Pause this, 
do your work, and when you're done, check back with me. Okay, the number in the, sev in the hundredths place is the seven. So we're gonna look next door. This is five or above. So the seven is going to become an eight, and our answer should be 413 and, I guess that's a point for this, oh, sorry, and 38 hundredths. Let's move on. Let's practice our poem again so you can say it along with me. Find your number, look next door, four or less, just ignore. Five or more, add one more, the rest become zeros, nothing more, except after decimals. Now you get to challenge yourself. Sam's new Great Dane is 116 and 87 hundredths centimeters tall. Round his height to the nearest tenths, ones, and tens place. So you're going to write this number three times. One, rounding to the nearest tenths. Then second, uh, rounding to the ones place. And the, then the tens place. So the first time you're going to be rounding to the decimal, the second and third time you're going to be rounding whole numbers. This will be a challenge. And then what do you think the dog's name should be? As you complete that, ask yourself, do you have the challenge problems written in your journal? Have you completed lesson 2.2 part 2? I hope you have. See you tomorrow.